I feel like the streets is publicized so much or promoted so much where yeah. we think going to jail and doing knucklehead stuff mm -mm. is the way to go. That ain't the one. I be I don't even want no hot heads around me. Like on, I heard somebody else say that, but like I don't for real. Like you be hot, but I know hot heads is gonna push me to something. You know what I'm saying? Cause whatever you're around, that's what you, that's what you gonna be like. You feel me? Mm. Everybody around me working on the same vision, same goal. <laughs>
facts. What's going on with the uh, with the talk to me? Give me some industry stuff, man. Talk to you. Got a lot of stuff in it. You got a lot to talk about, bro. I feel like talk, what's what's going on in the industry, bro. You 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 rocking oh. with labels? You 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 nah. rocking with Cap? Cap? Yeah. yeah. That's my bro. Yeah. Like we he, he, like he did, not even on no music. You know what I'm saying? That's family. So like it's automatic. So there ain't no that's business too. But we bro family. Everybody like be saying that day. when he with their homies, but it it's real life though. You know what I'm saying? We be bubbing heads and shit, but it's go out. We bros, you <laughs> feel me? We gonna do that. We nah, be right like back it, together. You feel me? But it's all good, you know. But that's family ties. Not bubbing heads all the time. Just you know, bro. We've been together for like fifteen years. I've been with bro since I was a kid. So, so you so. still trying to go like a major route? Like you? you nah, like that? I really just wanna stay high on right now and just get some more. You know what I'm saying? Traffic. That's all I need. You know what I'm saying? I've been vibing. Once I get in this mode I'm in right now, you know what I'm saying? Anything good. I'm in a full pocket right now. I'm good. What got you there, though? Because I feel like it got it. I ain't crazy. Like, we ain't been knowing each other for too long. But, yeah. like, I feel like you ain't always been in that mode uh -uh. right now. Uh -uh. I had to take something to get there. Uh, When my grandma died. Uh, You said that with a smile on your face. Yeah. Cause I embraced it already. It's good. You know what I'm saying? She ain't a whole better place. So I don't be tripping. I used to be tripping out. You know what I'm saying? But it took me a while to get where I'm at right now. I'm Real happy though, mentally, you feel me? What was, in real life. How do you get there though? Mm. Give me the blueprint. If you could, if it's somebody right now that's going through something, as we all do as creatives, as artists, they, they like you know the music ain't popping like they want it to be. How mm -hmm. do you think it should be? Give me the blueprint to get there. Uh, I pray a lot for real. Mm. You know what I'm saying? My mama do too, so I think that like help a lot, bro. For real, for real. Mm. I mean. That's real. Yeah. But that ain't just some old, that ain't just some easy stuff. Because you could say praise. Some people don't even know where to start. I it's know. easy for you. Nah, I know God worked, though, because I know where I came from. Mm. What I went through, what I seen, all that. Feel me? So I know it worked. Mm. You feel me? That's all. What do you think, why do you think you um you had so much success when it comes to doing this music? Uh, I feel like I ain't had that much yet. Me, personally, that's how I feel. The okay. success you have, because I feel like it's... Don't sleep on the success. Yeah, I ain't sleeping, but I feel like, man, what? I could, I could do, I could go a little harder. Mm. It's on me though. I don't blame nobody. It's on me. But what? Yeah. What? Why didn't? Why aren't you? Or why haven't you been going? Yeah, I'm on the way. Not on the way. I'm on the way. No, nah, <laughs> nah, you see, nah, I'm asking you. Why? What? what I'm was on the, the way. Hold up? What, what, uh, not right now. Myself. We ain't about right now. Myself. Myself. Bro, what? I ain't gonna lie to you, like. Before my grandma died, I was lost. You feel me? I ain't. I was just on, on whatever. I ain't even had no. I had a purpose. Like, you know what I'm saying, but everything just instantly clicked different. Like mm -hmm. grow up, you a know, man. Like you see, I seen how that shit affected me and my people. You know what I'm saying? I went and just turned me into a different person. Like, what were some of the things you was doing that you said when you say you was lost? Looking back on it, uh, just that one shouldn't been doing. You feel me? Like, like what? Without trouble. incriminating yourself, like yeah. what? Little dumb going to jail, dumb. Mm. You feel me? Getting in shit. I ain't supposed to be in shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Around the wrong. You know how it be. I feel like uh, dudes like us or, or young men that come from like our communities, regardless, I feel like the streets is publicized so much or promoted so much where yeah. we think going to jail and doing knucklehead stuff mm -mm. is the way to go. That ain't the one. I be I don't even want no hot heads around me like on I heard somebody else say that, but like I don't for real. Like it be hot but I know hot heads is gonna push me to something, you know what I'm saying? Cause whatever you're around, that's what you, that's what you gonna be like, you feel me? Mm. Everybody around me working on the same vision, same goal. So when did it change then? Because if you was lost when you before yeah, you when my dad I turned up. I came and got in a whole nother bag, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I seen more money than I ever seen <laughs> in real life. I, I think I went to my grandma's funeral more minute than I ever had on me. You feel me? More money than I ever had on me. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I just, that just turned me into a whole monster. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And I was blessed, so I could just keep me in a blessing. You feel me? Mm. Facts. For sure. But I want to know, like, even when, when you say you was lost, right? Yeah. And you said, because now you said, like, you hanging around a lot of people with, for lack of better words, motion, right? A lot of people was. No, I've been, I been with the people I'm with right now, but I'm just saying, like, it's two different crowds. <laughs> talk to me. I feel like you ain't two talking to crowd. me. Talk to you know me, dog. 
Talk to me. One foot in, one foot out with these people. Okay, one foot out with my that other. makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Different crowds, you feel me? That makes sense. That makes sense. So it took you to lose your, your grandma to understand that you couldn't have one foot in and one foot out. Nah, hell no. Nah. That ain't had nothing to do with it. That right there, me losing my grandma just turned me into who I am right now. Mm. You feel me? That's what it is. That. So who would you say you are? If you had to get A better person, a better dad, a better friend, a better brother, all that. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it like this. If you had to name this part in your career right now, what would you name it? Me. Yeah. We climbing a ladder. You would call it what? We climbing a ladder. But we climbing it happily, though. Like, we not tripping. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to make no dumb mistakes and do like, you know what I'm saying? We just want to make right business moves. You know what I'm saying? Man, what's I, I got my bro in with me. You know what I'm saying? I got the game behind me. That's what it is. We just what, locked what, in right now. What you got on the table, bro? I feel like you're talking too smooth. He got something on the table. Be honest, cause it'd it be like you know when somebody knows something coming up, they go, like, "Man, I'm just, I'm just happy. I'm enjoying the process the whole time. They know it. They got a contract or something big on the table." No, nah, I just, I just know where I'm going. You know what I'm saying? I don't even look, I don't, I don't even look at um contracts and shit like that. You feel me? I don't even think about stuff like that. That shit don't even, I don't even. You know what I'm saying? But it's good though. Like I said, when they, when, when I start getting on phone calls, I was like, "Okay, it's real. I know." You know what I'm saying? People be interested for real because they was on my line, pers- my line. You mm. So, like, I felt that I knew it. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling the bros, like, bro, look what I'm, you know what I'm saying? For sure. You feel like your bros understand that, though? Because I feel like some people, when, when you got one foot in and one foot out and you're trying to drag the other foot out and not have it in, mm-hmm. some people still just be want to act foolish or still want to bring you back nah, to where I ain't, you was I don't even be around nobody like that. Mm. Ain't got nobody around me like that. Not one person. So when you say you one foot in and one foot out, I mean the people that you was in with, like I'm thinking they would still want you in, no? Nah, no. They know my vision. They know the plan. You know what I'm saying? They understand what I got going. Mm. It's my people, though. Who calling your phone, bro? Talk to me, man. Who calling? Mm. Oh, yeah, everybody. <laughs> who you? Who you I ain't gonna lie though. It, like five labels called me before I dropped last year, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say who, but you know what I'm saying. I tell you, but you know what I'm saying. Just they was on me. Like, major, too. Me major, though. Not no little artists be trying to sign me, too, all the time. Mm. A lot of big artists. Could you do that, though? S- given your, I mean, I know y'all yeah, family, yeah. but given the camp situation. Ain't, I'm, I'm not signed to camp right now. Okay. We just, you know what I'm saying, doing what we do. This just family, sh- you know what I'm saying? Why every time an artist uh, that signed with a, another, like a big artist, and they not signed, everybody think it's, uh, they automatically think it's some beef. Yeah, no, nah, we just do good business. Mm. <laughs> Cause I remember the uh, Meek Mill. Shit. Remember when uh, Meek was signed to Jay Z management, yeah. and then he decided to go on his own. Everybody thought it was some beef, and even Jay Z said like, "Bro, what? Like, yeah, I never, figured that from a whole bit." For sure, I don't think it'll never get like that with us. It ain't never be no beef. We don't even have them type of issues. You know what I'm saying? I know that shit do happen though, but not with us. No, I, I not, when he was here, we were talking about you. So yeah. like, I know it's it's all love. Yeah, like, yeah I most mean, definitely, it's pure, genuine. Damn. I love it, bro. So, you say you got labels, you got majors calling you, right? Mm-hmm. If you had it your way, who would you sign with? Mm. If it was a perfect day, who who would it be? Uh, I don't know, bro. It depends on what the vision, what they play like. You feel me? I got. I'm a, I'm a businessman first. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing I'm trying to work on my business. I was lacking on that. That's another thing I ain't say. I was lacking on my business. I, ain't, I was just rapping too at one point. You feel me? Just rapping, I ain't have my business together. What would what, what you think for for a young artist again? For for because we like to help. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For a young artists, right? That might be lacking. They not they not um up the par in their business. Give me three things that they should be taking care of right now. They want to come up. Uh, three things they should be taking care of as yeah, an like artist, a, as, a, as an independent artist that's come want to uh, come up. Registering your music, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Preparing to drop, how to drop. When to drop, what to drop, you know what I'm saying, and target the audience, find out who your audience is. That's smart. Let's go to part two real quick. You Knowing when to drop, what to drop. Mm-hmm. Do you think sometimes the business side of the music industry get in the way of what you got here in your heart? Because sometimes you might want to do something, right? Uh, but like you said, no, I don't know. Drop. I do. I drop when I want to. So how you gonna get somebody this advice that you saying no? What the drop? What the drop? Artist like a signed artist or just an artist like me, just unsigned. It's too different. You know what I'm saying? If you if you a signed artist, you got a different focus. If you unsigned, you got a different focus. So because you unsigned, you say you just drop whatever. So you so so part two don't even matter to you. 
What, what no, part? with the drop, when to drop it. Yeah, hell yeah, that matter. I got a lot of music on drop. Like, so how do you differentiate with a drop? Uh, mm, that's a good question. That's a good uh, question, most definitely. Uh, it's just how I feel about it. How it make me feel. Mm. If I like it, you know what I'm saying, it's going. If I don't like it, it ain't going. I don't care who like it. If I don't like it, it ain't going. But I mean, we didn't we. We didn't been in the industry for a little second to know those be the songs that hit, the ones yeah, that you don't like? Yeah, 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 most definitely, sometimes. Not all the time. <laughs> so you ain't never just be like, I'm gonna just go ahead and see how it hit. Mm -mm. Even if you don't like it. Mm -mm. Hey, I, I feel like we hear those stories, right? Like everybody here, we, every time we hear them big songs, they be like, man, I ain't like that. I wasn't even expecting that. Yeah, but like, I, I used to just drop anything, but now I'm like real big on what I drop, man. Anything gotta have good quality, gotta come out right, you know mm. what I'm saying? Okay, what is what Real is the process like when you recording, bro? Vibed out. Ask anybody. You know. <laughs> he know. The show vibed out every time. What's the vibe? I don't know what that means. I don't you know. know. Vibed out. We be kicking it though. You know what I'm saying? Pretty girls around. A lot of good producers. They just be around for decoration sometimes though. <laughs> for the aesthetic. Yeah, most definitely. It's, it's for the vibe. Most definitely. <laughs> Kicking it though, vibe out, everybody good energy. That's how we work. You know what I'm saying? That's how. Yo, tell me, I'm getting acquainted with you. I'm just, this is for me now. I'm, I'm gonna ask you questions for me. For sure. Because I don't know. What was the big, the the song that, that got your name out there the most? Like your biggest song today? Which one was that? Uh, it was a song I had like 2016, 17, Turn, turn Up Everywhere We Go. It was like a club song. It was big everywhere, but a lot of people ain't know I was on there. Mm. You feel me? But I got the money though. I got the back ends off of it. So, so what about the one that get, got you the record, the notoriety then for the name? Because if that ain't that got you the money, right? It stamps you far mm -hmm. as getting the money. Yeah, it didn't give me no name though. But what was the song that got you the name? Mm -hmm. I just dropped the whole album. I ain't come out with no single. I dropped the whole album, my first album. And it just turned up from there. Yeah, it was called Shannon's Boy. It went crazy. My whole hood was behind me. Anything. My whole hood is still behind me, but you know what I'm saying, like. I, kept, I felt the whole impact when I dropped my first album. I ain't had nothing going before that when I dropped my first album. So, I was just talking crazy on it. I was talking like, you know what I'm saying? The wave that everybody on now, I was on it. So already. basically you've been on it? Yeah, I've been on it. So this is late. You've been on it? I don't know what they on. I just know I was on something a while ago. So let me ask you this. I feel like a lot of times when it comes to um, making music now, mm -hmm. and anybody can correct me if I'm wrong, we have family here together. So I feel like... When we a lot of the music we seeing now, a lot of people get turned up because of that hood mm -hmm. part about it, like that hood part about it, like so they had the hood behind them. Yeah, most definitely. It'd be a lot of talented dudes out here mm -hmm. who really nice, but they don't really have no no image. I don't want to say gimmick, but they don't have no image behind. Them. They, they don't have the streets behind them, nothing like that. So I can't really believe them. Do you feel like that played in your part, your, your favorite, having the hood behind you? Mm -hmm. I ain't really broadcasting. My hood was behind me though. Mm. And I never broadcast it, so like I don't think it played a part. They supported me though, like whatever I had, they every, like my whole city had. Like anytime I drop or whatever, everybody making my picture, they like that. You know what I'm saying? I got a real impact, not no. I mean, but would you say you have a street image though? Nah, I'm no? a sweetheart. You vibes, cat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sweetheart. <laughs> For real. This they tell you. You full of. <laughs> you say I'm a sweetheart. <laughs> who you fooling? Like who? It's, it's, For real. All right, whatever. All right. Um. Okay. So you had the hood behind you. You ain't, you ain't promote the hood behind you. You dropped uh -huh. the tape. You dropped the whole tape. You see how hard you're making this, right? You dropped the whole tape. Wasn't mm -hmm. no song. You dropped the whole tape, and it just turned up from there. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like no specific song. It was just my whole uh, album. It was just. At what point? Caught. So at what point did K Camp come in the picture then? 2017, my first album. But how I came. That with, I came with the music already. But you're not telling me how it happened, bro. What you, you got mean? to. Oh, how, how, oh, like, oh, oh. How, me, how that happened? Okay, yeah. me and Kemp happened. You say that. You say that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look, though, me and Kemp. I uh, Kemp had. I had my song in 2015. He was already on the road. You feel me? Uh, I was on the road too, though. So like, sometimes people knew we we was like close like this. So sometimes we get booked together and stuff. You feel me? So like. He just hit me and was like, well, you might, you know what I'm saying? What, you, what your next play is, you feel me? Because I was just independent getting money on my own, like moving around, no no managing, no nothing. I'm, everything personal, you feel me? I'm booking, whatever. 
all that features, everything I'm doing it myself, you know what I'm saying? So like, so I was cool and though, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? We, and he was like, bro, you gotta get some, you know what I'm saying, structure behind your, what you got going on, cause you got something going, you know what I'm saying? And he like, you just come over here and, and I like, might as well, that's just how it happens. So wait, let's rewind though, cause you said you did, you said you had a song, you said, yeah, yeah, knew, they knew, you had, what was it? It was called Everywhere We Go. So everywhere we go, mm -hmm. was that the song that got you the bag or the name? Bag. The bag, right. Yeah. So you said that people knew y'all was like this, so they would book y'all together. Sometimes. But But we were still moving around though, like together, like even on some shit, like I go on the road with him sometimes, but I wasn't like signing him or that. So how did it how did it even get there? Because you had to get booked for a show for something, right? You said yeah, you, got, you had a song. song. But you said that ain't get you no recognition. It didn't. I, I didn't give me but you had to get some recognition to get booked. Am I, somebody help me I out. Was in, I had another person with me. He was on the hook in the verse. Okay. I was just cutting back. So it was a group? I didn't even like the song. Was it a it group? It was the one that caught, like you just said. Okay, so it was a group thing? Yeah, kind of, sort of. We just turned it into that. Why you didn't say that? I did. What was the name of the group? A1. A1. Okay. Yeah, I, started out with a, I started out with a group in ninth grade called GBC we had a song called Boosted Up I've been doing shows since ninth grade there you we know, go DJ Southern Bread and all them know me who used to throw the parties out there you probably don't know them cause you from up there yeah I'm like, from Baltimore you down it. here though like we we already I did, I did all that you know what I'm saying around my way I was getting booked every day like I, even at the high school my 12th grade year I'm going to clubs and shit like that damn like so what, what made y'all split then like how did it that was like 12 of us it was 12 of y'all yeah yeah the A1 group? Nah, GBC. That was GBC? Why. Yeah. We had a song called uh, Boost It Up. We went viral early before Instagram and all that. We everywhere, every high school around here. Everywhere. Like Damn. 12 of us just going to a school, just clubs, all that in high school. So I had a little buzz like that, but I was with, with people. My crew had a buzz. You feel me? Okay. Okay. But I was always one of the ones who stood out, though. So that's why they was booking you and the other dude? Yeah, because me and him had caught a song at eventually just me and him damn I, and damn. it caught yeah okay. i ain't know that yeah it's hard that's a crazy. lot of people don't know that but some people do though yo this episode is sponsored by the morning meetup man shout out to my guy david shines man he's probably one of the few people i know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses right he created the morning meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing now listen as an entrepreneur myself i know how hard it can get especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. So from 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 then to now, right, mm -hmm. do you, uh, not the space you in now, because I know you're in a happy space. Mm -hmm. We lit. We flowing and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You're a sweetheart. Not that space, though. Before that space, was it ever frustrating understanding the the notoriety that you was getting or the buzz that you was getting so far when you had the group, the A1? Back then? Yeah. And you know, that you ever felt like you was chasing that? Nah, I ain't. I wasn't never chasing like no. I, I, I wasn't never chasing. You saying like chasing fame or something like that? Yeah, like chasing what you yeah, had because, nah. I mean, that's a, that's yeah, a nah. special place. Mm. No? Mm. I don't be chasing no fame. I don't even pay attention to shit like that. So what is you in it for then? I'm already lit, huh? Why are you in it? Can, what, what's uh, the purpose? What's I the can angle? better my family. Like I said from the jump, I can better my family with this. It's an easy ticket. Mm. You ain't got to do nothing to leave it. You ain't got to do nothing to nobody. <laughs> Some people. Sometimes. You say it's easy? Bro, you think it's easy? More than I that think this shit real easy. He said you want to make God laugh. Right, I mean, to hear you say it's easy, I'm trying to figure out. You got to give me the game. Tell me the Chico. You got it. No, nah, I ain't saying it like that. Don't look at it like You I'm said it was saying. easy. I'm just saying I know where I'm going. I know where I'm at with it. You feel me? It's easy for what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? It's easy. You'll see. End of the year. Middle of the year. What's going on in the middle of the year, bro? You see it? You know it's an interview, right? You come in. You got to tell me some shit. What's going on in the middle she of the year? You'll see. I'm just, I just been working. I've been locked in, extra locked in. I took like a year off just to work on 
whatever I had going on. All right, back. We're gonna drop this after the middle of the year. Tell me what was going on. Give me the exclusive. You'll see. I'm gonna go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Kyron, you see, I'm trying, right? I'm trying. You'll see. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We're gonna see. You ain't gonna give me no exclusive. Mm. Ain't nothing in motion right now. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. I'm just putting you down. That's what's going. That's how I feel. When is the next project coming out? You uh, just dropped a single. When is, when is the whole thing, thing coming out? Uh, the single I just dropped, that was just something to throw out there, though. It was something I, I had. I liked it. So okay. I just threw it out. Um, uh, I'm going to drop again. I'm going to drop it. Don't give up on me freestyle video. I just shot I shot it last night. I mean, like the other night. I'm going to drop it tonight, though. No project coming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When that's coming? Uh, About two months, I think. Two or three. I don't want to give you no data. Then. I don't know. I just put my own. Okay. Because I'm in a different pocket right now, so what I'm recording now, I'm planning on putting on my album right now. What pocket you in? By that, just sliding on everything, sounding different, my music elevating, so. Well, so like better. singing type? Nah, just like. work, everything. I don't, I don't even know if I be singing, I just be doing me. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, I mean, if you, if you think about it. I can't sing, it, bro. You drop, you say you're going to drop two, three months. That's, I mean, that's almost the middle of the year, so, mm -hmm. like, why you, why you waiting so long to drop? That's long? I don't know. Why? Why? Why that? Time? I could drop tomorrow if I wanted to. You know the what whole saying? tape. I drop like four albums tomorrow if I wanted to, bro. Mm. I got collab albums. All that. I got a collab album with Sadie Hendrix. I could drop whenever I want to. That's hard. We got like twelve, thirteen songs on it already. That's hard. Crazy too. If I got um, who else? I got shit with Lil Crank. Me and Kemp been talking about doing something. We ain't never spoke on no project, but we be, I be. It together, we got hella songs together. That's crazy. I know that's probably what he holding them for, though. So he got them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How is it to get a song with K Camp? You gotta like, how hard is it? Like, you gotta tell uh, me. Yeah, it gotta make sense. Like, had it bad, I guess. Shit. I mean, you, nigga, me. Oh hard. shit, we just be vibing. Like, he be hopping on some of my shit all the time. For sure. Yo, you I know what you was just saying about somebody outside. Oh you? no, I mean, I'm talking about you, nigga. Cause sometimes it might be hard. Some people. When you close to people, sometimes they be hard critics. Like even like um, I think uh, Carlay I was talking about when she was with uh Thug, and she was saying like how, you know like some people don't want to give you a handout, so they make it extra hard for you. Yeah. That's what I was wondering. Was it the same way? Uh. Like? No, I'm hard. So. That make these niggas you want to be on it. Fuck it. You like I'm away. I'm away. You feel me? I bring a lot to the table. No, I feel not you. the. Boosting it and nothing, but like, I bring a lot to the table, bro. You talk about the uh, the joint tape with uh, Seti. It's crazy because, like, just me being here, it's just seeing how it really is like that. Like, people really collab. Yeah, yeah, do you, yeah. Do you feel like... I don't collab with everybody, though. But, I mean, I feel like like y'all do... Again, being an outsider, right? Yeah. I feel like what I hear is true. Like, people be like, yo, Atlanta stick together. Mm. Do you feel like... Is, it, is that down here? Mm. Yeah, they do. For sure. Mm-hmm. It definitely most of like them, for the most part, I think. It feel like it. Yo, we got all, we got both feet in the industry right now. Both feet in the game and the work. You like it? Yeah. You enjoy the industry. I don't think I'm in, I'm not in the industry, though, bro. Oh, God. You, you think I am? Yes, bro. You in the industry. No. Nah. You just said you got a drink tape. What's My little vibes industry? don't even be telling me that. I ain't in the industry, but I be cool, man. I ain't in the industry. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't tripping. Like, I ain't saying I don't want to be in, but I don't think I am. I don't, I don't, that's five if I am, though. That's lit. If you think that shit. <laughs> that's weird, that's weird. For real. But like, I get it, though. So, do you think you'll enjoy, you, once mm -hmm. you get signed, major, all that? Then like, I'm in the industry. You think, you, from what you see now, from what you know, you, you think you're going to like it? Mm. Yeah, shit. I do my I do good business, bro. Like I said, like, cause I ain't got to, I don't mix with people. I if I know I ain't, I ain't even finna take myself nowhere. I don't feel like going to the net. Like I don't mix like that. Mm. So what you mean when you say, am I gonna like it? Like dealing with like the what? Cause so many things in the industry. Bro. Like I mean, just be honest. Like I feel like the industry. I was just talking to uh, with Jr. and we was just saying like it's kind of like almost being in a circus for real. Like it is a circus. Yeah. I don't fuck with that shit. Especially coming from like so I, don't, I know I wouldn't deal with it. Like I don't care about like the shade room and all that. I don't I don't even want to be on none of this shit like that. I but forget know. the shade room. The niggas that we are like that you around, you gonna be doing features with not big artists. Not like that, but I don't 
You said, do I want to work with other big artists? No, nah, like, not work with them, but I'm like, you won't have to work with a, some artists that you don't really rock with for real. Why you say that? It's the industry. Like, there's going to be a lot of niggas. I got the numbers. Like, nah. shit might make sense. Yeah, yeah, but, like, I mean, it depends, though. The game ain't different now. You can't, the, re, the real shit coming back in right now. You ain't for noticed real? that? I think so. I feel like I think, snitching I think, is I think, at I think all the, time No, 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 Besides that, though, like, all the... Listen, I'm talking about some other shit. Besides that, I'm talking about, like, the monkey shit when niggas, like, trolling all day and shit. You know, the industry was full of that, like, just internet shit. Just niggas just doing monkey shit. Niggas wasn't even putting out music. Everybody was just on the internet looking for entertainment and bullshit at one point. Bro, am I right? Or, people are still trolling. Yeah, they are, but you ain't, you know what I'm saying? That shit getting canceled easy, though, right now. Bro, I think. look at, look at one of the realest dudes ever, bro. Who? It's unfortunate, bro. I don't think I can say no name because I'm still trying to get interviews. Yeah, look at our guy. Look at look at Bobby Smurda, bro. Yeah, 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 for sure. Come on, man. You talking about niggas ain't tr like niggas is on the internet on straight fun time right now. I'm gonna just say it like that. Like it's, niggas is just but see, like fun. it's just a different world though. Like if you locked in on your music, bro, you're not on that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I don't, I, that's what I think. You know nah, I feel you. That might be nah, locked in on what you got going on, and you ain't even finna be like what, but you. Niggas at home with, you know what I'm saying? Niggas stand on more. We ain't doing all that. Just internet. I can't do the internet like that. Okay. You said niggas are standing on morals in morals. the industry right now. Morals. Morals. Nah, not in the industry. We stand on morals. Me and my For folks. For sure. Me and my For people. For sure. I you get know that. What I'm I get that. I'm talking about the niggas that's in the industry. Oh, no. Nah, I don't be knowing nobody in the industry. I don't even. I don't, I, don't, I don't even be in that mix. I told you I ain't in the industry. Nah, you go, that's why I'm telling you. I don't know nobody in the industry, bro. I'm talking about when you get there because you almost there. Oh, yeah. When you get there, you're going to have to do a song with a Goofy, my... bro. No, I don't. No, I don't. you going to just be like, fuck it. I ain't got to. I like that. Man, I like my brand, fool. I like my name, bro. You know what I'm saying? I like what I stand on. Man, no, they say that in the world. As a man, the only thing you got is your name and your word. Man, for sure. Yeah. Most definitely. How, I, but I, I feel like that got to be hard, though. Like, when, when we working, like, just trying to um stand on something. Mm -hmm. Right, it got like, cause a lot of things that's selling right now is the goofy stuff. Mm -hmm. So when you stand on something, it's gonna be a little harder. It's gonna take a lot, a lot longer. Does What's that it? ever get to you? You ever think about that? What's wrong with that though? Nothing. But I'm just saying, like when you seeing when you on the internet, right, and we scrolling past the goofies and they getting millions of views, you're like, man, I could be on this shit, but I ain't even on that. It gotta be frustrating sometimes, no? For sure. I ain't on that though. Like if you if you if you if you're not goofy, you can't do. You're not gonna do goofy shit. That's goofy. You doing, you know what I'm saying? But you don't think about it, like, <laughs> hell no. Do I think about what? Like, I mean, like, man, I could nah, be. Nah, hell nah. No, I'm not no, I'm not that type of nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't be on that, bro. I be locked in on my music, my family, and shit like that. They'll yeah. tell you, my bros will tell you. I believe you. you way me? better than me, because I ain't gonna lie. I be looking at these pages. I be, like, on, the, I be on the internet looking at the vibes and shit like that. I be cool. I don't be on no looking at the little, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't even go back and forth on the internet, bro. Like, I no, can't facts. do that. I ain't gonna lie. For sure. There's a couple niggas. I'll say this now. A couple niggas then uh said then broke my name up for like some clout chaser. And I didn't I didn't thought twice about responding because I'm like, man, maybe this would give me some extra clout, but fuck these niggas. Man, fuck man, you ain't gotta do that. No, nah, I know no, you're right. You're right. But I'd be lying to say if I ain't think twice. You lit right now. Nah. You know what I'm saying? That's all you gotta do. <laughs> but niggas is kidding. Make an example out of one person, ain't no right to do. See, yeah, you been making an example. I just make me one just one time. Fifty look at fifty ain't cent. Nothing wrong with that though. You got to sometime. Yeah, I'ma wait. I'ma wait. You got to. I ain't talking about the internet though. I'm talking about an example out of nigga ass. Oh, you talking about like in real life? Yeah. Oh no, nah, yeah, they like, just gonna get locked up. Nah, you ain't gotta do nothing crazy. But get it on camera. You can just rough somebody up, man. You could rough somebody <laughs> he up. He said just punch him out. Rough him up a little bit. Nah, facts. Nothing wrong with it. Yo, so um <laughs> Right. For your day ones, man, we got a single. Uh, what can we expect? Like something recent, like something that's coming out like soon. Uh, I'm finna drop a video tonight. Don't tonight, give up on me, freestyle. You gotta give him a date, cause this Crazy. might not. They ain't going. This ain't uh, uh, okay, my fault. Yeah, what's today? Uh, the 18th. Yeah, I'm gonna drop something tonight on the 18th. You dropping on the 18th, on the 18th video? On the 18th. We got. I know it's weird. I know it's weird, bro. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. <laughs> this is shit that you probably don't even think about. Like this is things that. Kyron, right? Just things that we know. Like, when you season it a little bit, right? Yeah, <laughs> you gotta yeah, give me dates. Tripping. I know he can go back and... <laughs> nah, facts. All right, so we got something coming on the 18th, uh, January 18th. 
Uh, what else? Talk to me. You got any features that uh, mm-hmm. you got? You working with anybody that's that we can look forward to? Mm. I just did a song with Count today. Mm. We really like you know my own shit right now, trying to create this album. You know what I'm saying? What I'm telling you about. You mm. feel? Me? That's all. I, I think, think it's gonna, gonna be like I think it's gonna be like the best one I ever dropped though. I think I'm gonna hold this, bro. I might hold on to this until you drop. It don't matter. I ain't might tripping. Be. I'm gonna look different though. How you gonna look different? I'm gonna grow my hair out. I'm gonna hit the gym. You gonna be in the gym? I already in the gym. Nah, yeah, gosh. they. I quit. I was in the gym. Niggas left too much, bro. Yeah, I don't be trying to be no. <laughs> I ain't trying to be like them. Yeah. <laughs> Niggas be lifting all type of shit out. For bro. no reason. You got it. What time? What time you be in the gym? Morning, yeah, personal. Like I try to go as soon as I get up. What time you get up? Seven, eight in the morning. It's not bad. It's not bad. Seven, eight. I I, I heard getting up at like five was better, but like, <laughs> Sheesh. seven, eight. Yeah, now I'm a morning person too. Yeah. I like I like going to the gym in the morning. What type of workout you be doing? Just wanna get my arms and my. I got a trainer though. Oh, you got a trainer? Yeah. Oh, you outside? You serious? Hold up. This ain't like a uh, like a New Year's thing. You know how everybody in the gym in nah. New Year's. How long you been in the gym? I always was like, I always, I'm, I was, I was always in the gym. Like I hoop a lot, so in the gym. How long like, you had a trainer, bro? Uh, you better not say January first. No, nah, I had a trainer for uh, my brother, my trainer though. You feel me? So like it's forever. You feel me? I feel like you cat, man. I ain't lying. He right there in front of you. Oh, that's your trainer. How that's long y'all been training? That's my brother. How long y'all been training? On and off, how many? I, I train on tour and all that. I don't just train like okay. now. I've been tra- I've been on. But that. you been in the I gym tra- I have a trainer on recently. tour. I have a trainer on tour. Okay. You know what I'm saying in the gym with us every day. <clears throat> okay. Every other day, sometimes I be booking, but most of the time I go. Yo, who you um? Wait, who? What was the last tour you went on? Um, the, uh, what was the last one called you went on? I went on camp last tour. That was the last one I went on. How is that? Lit. I just get to see where my fans at. Feel me. See, it's real, you know what I'm saying? I touch the people. It's lit, though. Just to see him going crazy, and it's, it's like, yeah. Shit, the hoes be crazy? Uh, I guess. <laughs> oh, they crazy, nigga. They be crazy. Shit be lit, though. What's, the, like, what's probably the craziest experience you had on tour? Mm, mm, like, five girls in my room type shit just vibing, though. Five girls in your room just vibing. A That's hundred, it. A hundred, a hundred um, on a on a tour bus. Y'all just playing Uno and shit. Yeah. That's it. That's all. That's it. Just, just playing like the the game. Taking shots. Taking shots. Playing Show uh me. the game. What is it called? Charades. Giving them a tour around the thing. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's all. That's all. This thing is crazy. <laughs> shit lit, boy. <laughs> What's the most lit part about it, bro? Talk huh? to me. What's the most lit part about your life right now? Right now? Yeah. Mm. My family, I respect that. I, I like. You came here. You was like, man, you got what six kids? Mm-hmm. That's where you you and everybody each one of their lives right now. Mm-hmm. That's dope, man. What you feel about one uh, of them at a time though? How you feel about dead beat dads? Mm. You got six kids. I feel like it ain't no excuse. Like it's, it's it's like it ain't no excuse to be one though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Try to be the best dad you can. I could be a better dad too, though. I've been mm-hmm. working on that too. But I be road running so long, so now I'm tapping back in. Like, I do where I need to be at. I spend more time with the family and going to get my kids. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's old time, but it is what it is. Feel good about it. So your baby moms ain't going about to, uh, about to comment under the video saying he lying, he capping, he don't be? Mm, nah. Right. I got a crazy baby mama, though. She weird. Well, you she got the shit. same, you got six kids by the same one? No, fuck no. Yeah, no. So which one is the crazy one? I won't never say her name. I mean, no, I mean like which year? I don't know, like which kid? Like third year? I had a, my three year old, four year old. Which kid? Second to last. This the last. Second to last. last. Yeah. <sighs> Demon time. Shut it. What makes what's, what makes a baby mother crazy? When they can't control you. They can't control what you do. I don't know. Some people be like, it's it's different with different situations. It's just in my situation. Though. I keep it a thousand with you. You feel me? But now, what's like? Give me a character trait from a crazy baby mom. Like if I had to see, if I saw it, I had to watch out. Like what's what's a crazy character trait? 
Uh, when she wake up, like every day. How she treat when she wake up? You. How she treat you, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. When she wake up, like, what the energy like? What a vibe on? No, nah, I thought you said, like, what's a crazy character trait? When she wake up, like, her just waking up. <laughs> when she wake up, like, some of these girls be crazy. Some of these girls don't even wake up and do nothing, but, mm, you know what I'm saying? Instagram. When she wake up, like, you feel me? Real shit, though. She's wake up on demon time, like. <sighs> Man, she don't go to she She go to sleep on demon time. <laughs> I'm gonna be one thousand with you, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, man, for sure. You don't, man. You gotta be careful. Be with careful, baby mama boy. Be careful. What's the craziest thing you think she did? Be careful. What's the craziest thing be she did? Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to tell you, boy. What's the craziest I've been extra thing? Safe, huh? What's the craziest thing? Man, what? Man, I'm talking about like, man. Yeah, I don't even want to say, bro. No, nah, you gotta tell us now. You gotta. We linked in. We got. We gotta know. Say, what happened? What's the craziest thing? I don't even want to say, bro, because she gonna take it there. She probably don't see internet, it. Internet, internet. She see everything I do. She probably somewhere in this motherfucker <laughs> looking through the fucking <laughs> building through that motherfucker somewhere. Oh man! <laughs> All right, what's the craziest thing a girl has ever done? Mm. Girls gonna be doing that crazy to me, but one girl. Man, what a crazy thing somebody did, bro. Oh, that's normal. That shit happens all the time. Oh, oh. I hope yeah. that ain't normal. For sure. You I done seen a girl um, do some shit like that. Fake a pregnancy to get a bag. Mm-hmm. How's she gonna get a bag? What's she gonna try to be like, oh, yo, if you no. pay this what much for the doing? abortion? Something like that? I don't know what she on. What they been on? He, though? He said it. They don't want nothing to do with it either. He said it. You see how he tried to ease his way out that? I don't want no smoke. This guy is crazy, bro. Hey, show you. No, man. I appreciate you. being 1,000 with you, though. You said what? Be careful. No, oh, no, no, no. Facts, facts, facts. Be very careful. See, I only got one girl. I'm going to just keep it that way. Yeah, that's good. Niggas man. like, you know. It's hard. What you call yourself? Uh, sweetheart. Sweetheart. Yeah. Niggas like you, like sweethearts? Nah, I just keep my one girl. I got one girl. Oh, you got a girl? Something like that. <laughs> Yo, your name is True Story. Mm-hmm. I Come just told you. Is it? Something like that. What does that even mean? What does that mean? Mm-hmm. Kyron, you got a girl? Yeah, I got a girl. <laughs> <laughs> what is something like that? What is that? What she is know that? what it mean. She know what it mean? Mm-hmm. So it's like a situation. Ship. That's what you want to call it. Oh, what, what, what Jada Pinkett say? Yeah. Oh, it's a uh, entanglement. Hell no, nah, I ain't doing none of that. Ain't nobody entangling nothing, nothing, nothing. It's a situation. He said yeah. something like that. It's just us. You know what I'm saying? I'll That's cute. I wish y'all the best of luck, bro. Appreciate it. Hopefully she become your girl. I might. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about it. No lie. You think about it? Yeah. I'm going to show Hey, I'm wishing I'm, I'm more power to you. Bro. You don't think I'm, you, what you think? Why you laugh? Bro, nigga, I don't know. I hope you get a girl. I hope it, I hope it works hope out. You get a girl, well, right? I hope you get engaged and y'all get married and live happily ever after. But look, though, I'm just vibing right now. I ain't even on that part. Like, I don't know. It's a situation ship. Yeah. We'll keep it that way. I don't even put that in the air, like, engaged. All that. <laughs> <laughs> just show you. This might be one of the funniest ones ever, bro. <laughs> I like, hey, listen, I ain't gonna, listen, I'm gonna just leave that, that there. Man. I hope you get signed. So why do you even want to do Why you want me to get signed? I, I was gonna ask you, like, why do you want to, uh, like, why you want, because you set the major label thing. You brought that up. Yeah, but I ain't signed. But you want to get one, right? Right now? Right now? No. Down the line, later on down the line, you want you want to deal? Yeah, most definitely. A major, but I want that bad though. So I just want to build myself up to like partner up with somebody who gonna. So you want a partnership? Match me up with what I what I'm talking about. How do you? How, what do you think about major? Uh, like being signed right now. What do you think about deals, record labels? Um, if you a good artist, your business gonna get done right. I think. Nah. Cause that's all it is. Yeah, I feel like they be raping niggas. Yeah, of course. Of course, some people, but if your business right, then you're going to get raped. That's true. I think Honcho said that. He was like, yo, you got to, uh, before you even get signed, you should have three, like, uh, 
you should have um three hit songs. You gotta go at them with that shit to make them be like, okay, we gonna respect what he talking about. So would you sign it? Then it's like you? you control whatever going on. They don't control it because you, you get a hit tomorrow. Uh huh. Would you sign? For a lot of M's, yeah. You think they gonna come at you with a lot of M's or the one song? Yeah, nah. But I'm a good business man. I know what to do. Wait, what you think about OnlyFans then? Mm. I just threw your curveball. What about it? Niggas making a lot of money over there. Mm, nah, not me. I'm just saying. Man, Niggas. somebody had me on their OnlyFans before. Ooh. She tried to sneak me on there. She ain't give you no. She ain't give you a piece of the. The yeah, cut? yeah, most definitely. Was it a good? It was was one it, of my little vibes. Was it a good check? Nah, I ain't even get no money. I, I went to her job and took her phone and took that shit down. Wait, she could. Why you just ask for the money? Cause she ain't tell me she put it on there. Somebody had to hit me and tell me about that shit. Oh, so wait. Time out. How they know it was you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was a girl. <laughs> my tattoos. Oh, so your hands was in it? Yeah. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. So it was a girl that told you? Yeah. yeah. So wait, 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 wait. Tell me how this worked out, right? So the girl that she was on her OnlyFans with, right? Yeah. Another girl saw you on her OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. Was she confronted you about, like, yo, is this you? Mm, she knew it was me. <laughs> so the girl that was you was on the only fans with you went to go get her phone. It was just my little vibe. Yeah. Was she mad that another girl seen it? No, nah, she didn't know what was going on. I just went and give me your phone. So she didn't ask you how you knew? Went in to talk about. It. Yeah, I said what you, what you doing that shit for like that. You know what I'm saying? You should have asked for a bag. You should have asked for a What we do is what we do now. I don't even put myself out like, like that. You know what I'm saying? Especially not on no shit. If I ain't do the shit, what the fuck you doing? Only fans making a bag though from all type of angles. Yeah, but that's another thing though. Them morals, you know what I'm saying? I be standing on. You feel me? I mean, that ain't really. That ain't it ain't nothing in another world, but it's just what I stand on. You feel oh, me? Isaac, it's a lot of eyes on me, bro. That ain't not happening. We see. Uh, you think you could? Tiger? Just, you think I could just make an OnlyFans tomorrow and it just be oh, okay? Yeah. This nigga on the internet being freaky hell now. Nah. Bro, we see Tiger. <laughs> Tiger is. Fuck no. Tiger, Tiger running up a bag. But that was. He running up a bag. I ain't doing it. That's cool with him. He can be freaky. <laughs> he said he could be freaky. <laughs> he could be freaky on the net. I ain't doing it. Nah. I be, I be cool with the little vibes, though. That's for them. I fuck with that. Go do it. Just don't have you in it. Can't put me on. Would you date a girl that uh, got an OnlyFans? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> uh, I'm a man with pride. Can't just do shit like that. If she what? If she doing what on there? If she ain't, if ain't nobody else on her, I'm nah, cool. she, it depends no, on how I like her though. If she's it depends fully on how I like her. On only oh, she dead. Boy, we ain't even finna be nothing. We not even gonna be nothing. So I don't give a <laughs> fuck what you do. So you were so like like paint, let's paint the picture, right? You see you, you see only fan shit, right? Mm-hmm. And she lit. You ain't going smack at her. Yeah, for sure. If she lit, she got something going on. We right. Like but let's say y'all start dating. Me not. We not gonna start. We can fuck around though. We can vibe. Out. What if what if what if she really liked that? She yeah. make you start liking her. Not. You gonna fuck with her? Nah. Ain't no telling though. You know what I'm saying? I don't you know. say you're a sweetheart. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I be getting my feelings and shit. I be falling. I don't know. It got me slipping. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm fucking with you, bro. I appreciate you for pulling up, man. Let the people know what you got going on. We got the uh, the, the video dropping on the 18th. What else Sorry. you got going on, man? I'm on the way. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you, it's going to be like two months, though. Two months. Got like 20 songs on there. Mm. Mm, saying I'm going to drop like six videos I just shot at the end of t- 22. Mm. Put them out. You know what I'm saying? That's all. You know what I'm saying? I might go on tour, too. I might. I'm trying to see right now what's going on. We're trying to... I got some I got some shows in Houston, Dallas, Texas. Fuck with Texas. me. Texas. I was waiting for they it. Houston, Dallas, me. Texas. They fuck with me, and uh, Memphis fuck with me too. Mm. Fuck with Memphis, most definitely. Okay, for the so people I'll be that around them little circuits. For the ones that don't know, tell them how to follow you and everything. Follow me at True Story G A everything everywhere. You might gotta spell it out, man, for the people. T R U E S T O R Y G E E. True Story G. 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 J Hill, J Hill Podcast. It's a wrap. We out. Appreciate you, dog.